Hello everyone! Welcome to SourceFed, I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Now in case you've not been following Emma Watson's career, she was recently given a very prestigious position. And no, I don't mean head girl or prefect. Emma was appointed a UN Women Global Goodwill Ambassador, a position held by prominent individuals who can use their fame to highlight important humanitarian causes. Having been in her position for six months now, Emma gave a powerful speech at UN headquarters over this past weekend that's making headlines everywhere. Emma launched a campaign against gender inequality called the He for She campaign, and it aims to solve the problem by 2030. Now before you get ready to go on a rant about how feminism is the same thing as man-hating, that is exactly the presumption that Emma's trying to raise awareness against. She acknowledged that, quote, fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man-hating, and that this has to stop. She went on to explain that the definition of feminism is the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities, and she urged us all to work toward political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. Emma stressed that gender inequality is an issue for men just as much as it is for women. When a young woman wants to be a leader, she's seen as bossy, and when a teenage boy expresses emotion or vulnerability, he's seen as a wimp. Neither of these situations is fair. So how do we combat this, when the word feminist seems to be a bad word that both men and women run away from screaming? Emma hopes with a little rebranding to kickstart a global solidarity movement under the campaign title He for She. Her goal is to get one billion men and boys on board over the next 12 months. She says, I want men to take up this mantle so their daughters, sisters, and mothers can be free from prejudice, but also so that their sons have permission to be vulnerable and human too, reclaim those parts of themselves they abandoned, and in doing so, be a more true and complete version of themselves. Many top UN officials are already on board, and there's even a super high-tech he for she real-time map with a geolocator that will tally how close he for she is to its one billion advocate goal. Now, to me, it's a no-brainer that women should receive the same opportunities and be given the same social respect as men, but I can tell you firsthand that voicing that opinion can be very unpopular because it's automatically associated with being anti-men, and many people do still believe that women should not have that equality. Do you think the male-targeted strategy of the He For She campaign can affect the change that Ms. Watson is hoping for? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments section. I feel like I just dumped a ton of lighter fluid on the comments section and gave you all your own match. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Good luck.